The hot set method tests if the cable insulation is properly cross-linked by measuring the heat deformation at 200 degrees Celsius during 15 minutes. The elongation in melted condition is measured as well as the permanent deformation. We recommend a careful sample preparation to avoid failure. The sample surface should be smooth and undamaged. For cables with conductors up to about 16 square millimeters, the tubular cable insulation can be used without further preparation. For larger cables, puncture dumbbell test pieces from the insulation. If the conductor is stranded, remove the ridges from the strand on the insulation by planning. Otherwise, the risk of an early break increases. Measure the cross-section area and calculate the weight. The mechanical stress that has to be applied to the sample during the test is specified in cable standards. In most cases, this is 0.2 megapascals. Mark two references with a thin silver pen, 20 millimeters apart, measured from the center of the sample. Hang the test piece in the oven and attach the weights. After 15 minutes, measure the distance between the two marks and calculate the elongation. Remove the weight and leave the sample hanging in the oven for another five minutes. Allow the sample to cool in the ambient temperature. Measure the distance between the markers. Calculate the heat deformation. If the sample elongates into a strain break during the first minute of the hot set test, the sample is not fully cross-linked. If the specimen snap breaks after at least two, but less than 15 minutes in the oven, the material is cross-linked, but does not meet the 15 minute standard requirement. A snap break most often results from stresses and deformations in the samples caused by the preparation. To avoid this, you may have to change the preparation process of the hot set specimen or the measurement process.